That said, Orsted moved with a lawsuit um, challenging the legality of the stop work order on the basis of um, national security. Uh, but there, there's been some really interesting news on the offshore wind segment, which has been basically under fire from the Trump administration. So, um, yeah, I'll touch upon the revolution wind um, stop work order because um, I think that's that's really under you know under uh, under everyone's um scope at the moment um so yeah the, the u s administration um placed the stop work order on the construction of uh, revolution wind which is coned by um by orsted um and c i p so the basically what that meant is that they they halted construction on this eighty percent complete project um off the coast of um I believe is Rhode Island. That said, Orsted moved with a lawsuit um, challenging the legality of the stop work order on the basis of um, national security. Um, and on Monday, uh, a federal um, judge lifted the stop work order um, and the stock rose um, roughly 10% since then. Uh, we, like you mentioned, we wrote a note where we actually uh, looked at the, some of the parts analysis for, for Orsted, uh, where our, up, uh, let's say, upside scenario or base case actually would be that um, the portfolio is worth roughly 135 kroner per share. Um, that means that uh, Orsted keeps its U.S. portfolio and manages to complete both projects. And our sort of um, downside scenario or bear scenario would be um, that Orsted um, needs to exit its U.S. portfolio. That would drop um, the value of the portfolio to roughly 60 um, 60 kroner per share. So it's a very, very much a binary outcome. Um, and the decision on Monday gives us sort of cautious optimism um, that, that the projects will go ahead. Um, we, we know that this will face an appeal, um, but at least for now, in the near term, it looks like Orsted is safe. Uh, it looks like um, work is resuming. And it's important because Orsted leased a specialized vessel uh, that they needed to utilize or they need to utilize before um, the end of the year uh, in order to progress construction and, and complete the project. Um, so it's, it's pretty much on the cards that, that this project should go ahead. Um, in terms of the longer term view for offshore wind in the U.S., um, I would say we don't expect any more development besides this couple of handful of projects, at least not under this, this administration.